Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this series we're going to learn linear equations. This first video will start out with slope-intercept format of the equation, y equals mx plus b. So the first form of the linear equation we're going to learn is the slope-intercept form. And in this equation we can see that m here is the number that we multiply by x, that's called the coefficient of x. And this coefficient of x is the slope of the line, which is calculated as the rise over run. And we'll get more into the slope later in, I think, the third video. So b, this constant over here, is the y-intercept. That's where the line intersects the y-axis, which is the vertical axis. Now, given the line y equals 10x minus 7, what is the slope of this line? At what point does this line intersect the y-axis? Well, this slope, as we said, is just this coefficient of x, right, which is right here. This is, this is the slope. It's 10. So the slope, we'll say is m, is our symbol for slope, is 10. And what's the y-intercept? Well, the y-intercept is this number here, negative 7. Since we're subtracting 7, that's a negative 7. So we're going to say b is equal to negative 7. So we have our slope, 10, and y-intercept of negative 7. Note that we don't put 10x for the slope. X is our variable, that's not part of the slope. The slope is simply the number that we multiply by X, the coefficient of X. So it's just the number part of this term. Now given a line Y equals negative 2X plus 5, let's determine which of these points, if any of them, are on the line. So how can we determine that? Well, we're going to plug in our value for X into the equation here for the line and our value for y and see if it comes out true, right? We'll know if it's not true if we get something like 5 equals 8. Well, that's obviously false, so the point is not going to be on the line. So let's test. We'll just plug in negative 1 for x. This is the x value here on the left. This is x. And this is the y value for each one of these. y is 7, so 7 equals negative 2 times negative 1 plus 5. Okay, let's multiply that out. Negative 2 times negative 1, we have two negatives, so they cancel each other out, right? And we get 7 equals uh, positive 2 plus 5, or 7 equals 7. 7 equals 7, is that true? Huh, yes it is. So this one is Yes, that's on the line, okay? 7 equals 7 is true. So we plugged in the x and y values, we determined that 7 equals 7. Let's try this one, 0 comma 5. So 5 is the y value, so 5 equals uh, negative 2 times x, and here x is 0. So negative 2 times 0, put in 0 for x, plus 5. Now we'll just multiply this out. 5 equals, let's see, this is 0, isn't it? Plus 5. So really we get 5 equals 5. 5 equals 5 plus 0. 5 equals 5. So that's true. So we've determined that this point is also on the line. Okay, 3 comma 4, let's try that one. We're going to put in 4 for y. 4 is our y value. 4 equals uh, negative 2 times, what's x? 3. See our 3 here for x? So we'll put in 3 for x and plus 5 from our linear equation up above. Now we'll multiply this out. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6, plus 5 equals, what's that, negative 1, right? 5 minus 6 is negative 1. So now we have 4 equals negative 1. Is that true? No, that's not true. So we've determined that this one is not on the line. Okay, let's try the next one. We have 2 for x and negative 1 for y. So negative 1 equals, 
let's see, negative 2 times x, negative 2 times x, and x is 2. So let's put in 2 for x, plus 5. And let's see, what does that multiply out to? Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 plus 5. Let's see, negative 4 plus 5 is a positive 1, right? So it looks like that one is not on the line either. Negative 4 plus 5 is a positive 1. Negative 1 equals positive 1. Is that true? No, that's not true. That's false. So this one is also not on the line, is it? So this one is a no. So of these four points, two of them are on the line and two of them are not on the line. So that's our process for determining whether or not a point is on the line. Now let's find points on this line. We are given some values for x here in this table, just 0, 1, 2, 3, and we want to try and find points on the line. So we're going to plug in the x value and find the y value. So let's see, when we put in a 0 for x, we get um, y equals 7 times 0 plus, or minus 3, sorry about that, minus 3, 7 times 0, that just comes out to negative 3, doesn't it? And let's do the next one, 7 times 1 minus 3, times 1 minus 3, and let's see, that's, that multiplies out to 7 minus 3. So 7 minus 3 is what? 4. And let's see, 2, 7 times 2 minus 3. Well, 7 times 2 is 14, right? 14 minus 3 is 11. So this one is 11. And then 7 times 3 minus 3. Um, 7 times 3 is 21, minus 3 is 18. So now we've found four points on that line. And if you wanted, you could write these points in um, coordinate form. Um, 0, comma, negative 3. Right? But these are four points on the line. So that is an easy way to find points on the line. Just simply put in a value for x, calculate the y value, and you get a point on the line. Now let's graph a line from the slope-intercept form. How do we do that? Well, the process is this. We're going to plot two points on the line. First, we need to determine those two points, right? We just saw how to determine two points on a line. So one point is the y-intercept. That's a given. That's the freebie. So we always know that at x equals 0, um, 0 comma b is one point on the line. Um, and then we're going to plug in either x equals 1 or x equals 2, some small value of x to find a second point on the line, and then we can plot that. And then the next step is to just draw a line that passes through those two points. So it's pretty easy to graph a line if we could just find two points on the line and then connect the, connect the dots, basically. So let's see how that works. Let's see, y equals x plus 4. So let's find two points. Well, 1 we said was just 0 comma 4, right? That's b, that's the y-intercept. Um, so 0 comma 4 is one point. 0 comma 4. That's the freebie point. Let's see, 0 comma 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 up, right? Positive 4. So that's our y-intercept. That's one point. Um, now let's see, let's find another one. We could put in, let's say, 2 for x. So if x equals 2, what is y? Well, y equals 2 plus 4, right? y equals 2 plus 4, which is 6. So that means that 2 comma 6 is another point. 2 comma 6. So we're going to count over 2, our x value is 2. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here's another point. And then what's our second step? Oh, connect those two points. So we just need to draw a line through those two points, something like this. That's basically what our line looks like. So we've graphed the first line. Um, let's graph the second line, but in a, let's do it in a different color. Uh, so y equals 3x minus 5. 
um, let's find two points. Well, we know the first one is 0, comma, negative 5, right? 0, comma, negative 5. So 0, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's one point on this line, right? Now let's find another one. We can put in 1 for x or 2, whatever. 3 times 1, let's do uh, minus 5. So let's see, 3 minus 5 is negative 2. So 1 comma negative 2 is a point, right? Comma neg okay, and to find that 1 comma 1, 2 right here. So we can see the slope here in this line is 3, right? 3. So that means that rise over run is 3. In other words, we go up 3 and write 1. That tells us the slope is 3. Um, anyway, we'll get more into slope in the next uh, video. So now let's just draw a line that passes through these two points, something like that. It's a little bit steeper than the other line. It goes up towards this way. So that's how we graph a line. We find two points on it, we plot those points, and then we connect the points. Now, which of these graphs on the coordinate plane represents the line y equals 3x minus 2? Um, well, let's see. What we want to do is find two points on the line and then find out which graph includes those two points. So first one is 0 comma negative 2, right? Because this is our y-intercept here, negative 2. So 0 comma negative 2 is a point on this line. That's the easy one, y-intercept. At where x equals 0, y equals negative 2. Let's find one more point. Let's put in, let's say, 2 for x. So 3 times 2 is 6. Uh, minus 2 is 4. So 2 comma 4 is a point, isn't it? Okay, 2 comma 4. So let's see which ones have both of these points. 0 comma negative 2, this one does, right? 0 comma negative 2, this one does. 0 comma negative 2, this one doesn't. So it's not C. You can scratch out C. And 0 comma negative 2, this one doesn't, right? So D is not an answer. Okay. Now let's look and see which one has the point 2 comma 4. We've already eliminated two answers. So we only need to look at A and B. 2 comma 4, 1, 2, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4, that would be like right here. That's real close to the line. 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, that would be up here. So this one is definitely not the answer. I would say it's A. So this one is A. Both of those two points that we found both lie on the line. Therefore, the A is the right answer. We ruled out all the other three. Let's try another one of those. Which of these graphs on the coordinate plane represents the line y equals negative x plus 5? So let's find two points on the line. Um, so we can see that the y-intercept is 5. So 0, 5 is one point on the line. 0, 5. So let's see, which ones can we rule out? Um, a y-intercept of 5, that would be up around here. Um, so it's not A, is it? And then B, y-intercept of around 5, so nope, it's not B, is it? So y-intercept of 5, uh, yeah, it could be C, and yeah, it could be D. So we've ruled out two answers just based on a y-intercept of 5, right? Now let's look at another point on the line. We could put in 2 for x. So y equals, let's see, we have a negative sign here, so negative 2. We're going to put in a positive 2 for x, but there's a negative sign in the equation, plus 5. So basically 5 minus 2. So 2 comma 3. 2 comma 3 is another point on the line. Right? We put in a positive 2 here. And there's a negative sign in front of it because of this. Um, and then we add 5 to that and we get a positive 3 as a result. So this is another point on the line. 2 comma 3. So let's see which one has a point at 2 comma 3. Um, C does not. 1, 2, comma, 1, 2, 3. This one does. So it looks like D. D is our right answer here. So again, all we did was find two points on the line by putting in a value for x and finding y, and then checking if those two points actually lie on each one of these lines and the answers, and rule out the ones that don't. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. 
Thanks for watching.